Orders are the primary record and tail wind, the route to which shipments and dispatches are attached. In some cases you may want to convert an existing quote into an order, but not every company will make use of quotes and you do not have to begin with a quote. You can enter the movement as an order. To do so, navigate to the orders list using the left navigation bar and you can click on the create button that appears at the top of the list. This will start the order creation process. The first step is to select the customer you're creating the order for, whoever is paying you to move this particular freight. If this is a new customer, you will have to create the customer record for them before proceeding using this plus sign. If the customer already exists in your database, select them from the Customer Field drop-down menu. Doing so should automatically populate most of the remaining fields. After double-checking that the information is correct, click the Create button to proceed. This will assign an order number and display the record on your screen so that you can add one or more shipments to the order. The shipment represents the actual freight being moved and includes the time and location of pickup and delivery. To add a shipment to your new order, navigate here and click the Add Shipment. This will bring up the Create Shipment screen. Enter as many details of the shipment as you want to keep track of, remembering that fields labeled in red are mandatory. The general area will simply track what it is, the commodity you're moving, the amount of packages, any package type you want to choose. You can track dimensions if you want, and if it is a hazmat, you can switch the hazmat toggle on, which will then allow you to track that hazmat pin code. Here are the locations, your pickup and delivery. In this pull down will be all locations you've already created. Creating new locations is as easy as using the plus sign to detail any new location you want to enter into your database. Entering pickup dates actual scheduled appointments. Switching this toggle will show that it is a scheduled appointment and you can populate the actual appointment time here. Shipper notes, reference numbers, pickup numbers, as well on the destination. You have a delivery time if needed, delivery notes, and delivery reference numbers if needed. Once you've populated all the details, you will click the Create button, which will commit those changes to the order and show it here in your shipment area. Now you will want to add some revenue to the order to indicate what you will be billing the customer when the freight has been moved. To do so, simply use the Add Receivable, and this will bring up the Add Revenue Line form. Here, you can select the specific revenue line item you want to choose. For example, I'll go with a freight charge and we'll charge $2,600 to move this load. You can add on fuel surcharge by switching this toggle on and selecting your fuel surcharge revenue item. Click the Create button to add the revenue into the revenue area and you can add as many accessorial charges as needed. For example, let's add a tarp charge here. Here again in this pull down are all of your revenue items you've set up when you set up your database and adding in the amount you want to charge for the tarp will add it into your revenue line item. At this point, it is also possible to add some expenses to the order itself. 
Generally, you will want to add most expenses, such as driver or carrier pay, toll fees, toll fees, etc., to a specific dispatch rather than the order. After all, most of the cost of transport happens in the actual transportation. However, some expenses, such as sales commissions and some assessorial charges like lumper fees, are best tracked at the order level. These can be added automatically if you have set up your system to use automatic payables. If not, you may want to add them manually by using the Add Bill function. Every record in Tailwind has a Notes area, and Notes will allow you to add different types of notes to an order, to the bill of lading. Here in this pull down is a list of all the different note types you can keep. Once you've added any notes or expenses on your order, it should be ready to hit the road. And once an order is fully set up, the next step will usually be to dispatch it. But of course, Sometimes you will need to edit an existing order, whether it's adding new details or editing what is already there. Using the Edit button will allow you to do that. Also, know that you can add multiple shipments to one order. Once you're ready to dispatch your order, make sure to watch our video about dispatching your orders. Thank you.